Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a sanitizing hand wash, an antibacterial hand wash. Now the interesting thing about these products is it's actually the washing of the hands that is providing the sanitizing action not so much the product itself. But there's so many products out there saying that they're sanitizing and antibacterial simply because of the washing of the hands. I thought I'd show you how to make a really easy sanitizing hand wash using materials you can get from small suppliers. Now one of the great things about this product form is that you don't have to worry about viscosity. You don't have to worry about building up viscosity, which is usually quite hard to do in natural hand wash or body wash products. But because this has a self foaming pump on it, we can have a very liquid product with a very low input of surfactants and still get an absolutely beautiful foam. So now let me show you how it's made. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using materials that you can get from small suppliers. So first of all, I have here caprolyl capril glucoside. It's also known as Oromix CG110. Now I'm going to use this as my solubilizing material. I want to solubilize my materials first. So to this, I'm adding a little bit of lavender essential oil, some lemon scented tea tree essential oil, a little bit of tocopherol and my preservative. And I'm first going to set this up to solubilize it so that I end up with a beautifully clear solution when I'm finished. Now let me just emphasize the essential oils in here are not providing any of the sanitizing action. It really is, we're just making a really nice, delightful, gentle on the skin, natural hand wash that we can use for 20 seconds without drying out our skin or irritating it. And that washing of the hands is actually what's providing the sanitizing activity of this hand wash. But the lemon scented tea tree and the lavender are going to smell fantastic in this product and give the user a, a really good sense of feeling clean and fresh after they've used the product. So I've solubilized my oils there. Now, as you can see, it's nice and clear. We need that to be clear first. Now here I have my surfactants. I've got decal glucoside. This is also known as Puract Gluco D. And I have sodium glutamate. So I'm gonna combine these two. And then to this surfactant mixture here, I'm gonna add my solubilized oils. Now I do it in this order again because I want to end up with a beautifully clear solution and these surfactants do come with water present in them so I want to make sure I'm solubilizing at each step so that I end up with that beautiful clear solution. Again make sure that if you're preparing this it's nice and clear at this stage. Then we add this to our water. Now I have water and glycerin already present here. The glycerin, of course, helps give that really nice after hand wash feeling and it also helps boost the foam. So it's a great addition into the water phase. Now I'm just gonna add my surfactants and solubilized portion. Slowly and just stir these through. Again, you want to make sure that's clear. I will pour this into a glass beaker in a moment so that you can see it. I'm just going to check and adjust the pH. Now it is a bit foamy on the day you make it, don't worry about that, you are mixing surfactants so it will be foamy on the day you make it. But if you leave that to settle overnight those bubbles come out very fast. And you'll be left with a beautiful clear sanitizing hand wash. 
I've used really mild and natural surfactants in this formula, so the product is all natural. Just remember one of the important things about this formula is to get the self-foaming pump head so that when it pumps out, it does the foaming for you. And of course the true sanitizing function of this and other hand washes is the actual method of washing the hands. Make sure you wash those hands for 20 seconds to get a sanitizing effect from your product. And using a beautiful mild product like this means you won't have to worry about dryness or irritation after use. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.